In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own signature within Outlook on the web. I'll also show you how you can edit that signature and how you can add it to your emails either during the creation of an email or by default. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create our signature and there's two ways to do that. The first way is if you open up a new email or a reply to somebody, you'll see within the message tab we have signature here in the ribbon. Now, if I click on the down pointing arrow, you'll see it gives me the option to go into my signatures menu. And that's because I don't currently have a signature to add. If I had a signature in here, then I would be able to select it and it would apply it to this email. So that's one way to get to the signatures menu. The other way to do it is to go to settings at the top right and then go down to compose and reply. And then you'll see you get signature in here. You can also run a search for signature here, but it lives within Compose and Reply. Now, what we need to do here is we need to build our signature. So the first thing we need to do is to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one just Andy Todd. And then you can manually type your signature into here. What I've actually done is I've already created a draft signature that I'm going to use for this. So I'll just go and copy that signature just now. Okay, so now that I've copied my signature, I'm going to paste it into this box and you'll see it looks like this. Now, I just want to draw a little line at the top just to separate it. Now, you can get as fancy as you want with your signatures. So you can use the formatting options down here. So it might be that I want to insert my company logo so I can use this um, insert pictures in line and it will allow me to search for my logo. So I've just got this little draft one here, which is just a generic company logo. And of course, we can resize it if we want to. So let's just go for that. Now with this logo here, we can also link it out. So if I select the logo and then use the link here, we can link this to a web address. So I'm just going to do Google as this example, but then it's a clickable hyperlink to Google. You'll see the other things here. So email here, we might want to select that text and we might want to link that by using a mail to and then we'll put the email address in. So I'm just going to copy this one and paste it in. There we go. So it's now set up to be a clickable um, link to a new email to this address. Of course, we could go and make further changes, but I'm quite happy with this signature as it is. So all I need to do now is click on the Save button before I make any other changes. That way, we've at least created this signature. Now, if we want to make a variation on this, we can go to New Signature at the top here, and then I could put Andy Todd Personal. And then let's just say that this one is just simply Andy Todd, and then we'd put in maybe like the company name, and we'll just make that bold. So I made this just very, 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 very basic. Now, let's save that one, because now you'll see we have the main signature here, and then we've got the other one here. Now you'll notice I made a slight mistake there in the naming, so I'm going to go to rename, and I can change that in there. So we now have Andy Todd Personal, and then we have this one here. Now below the options for the signature formatting, you'll see they have default signature options here. Now by default, if I want this signature to appear for all new messages, then I can choose which signature I want to use. So I want this one, to be for all new messages. And if I want any time I'm replying or forwarding to use a signature, I can choose the signature from in here. So let's leave replying and forwards blank, but we'll set this one for new messages to Andy Todd. Let's save our signature. Let's close this menu. And then you'll see if I just close this message down, if I generate a new email, that signature will be added automatically to this email. However, if I go into this email here and use reply or forwarding, you'll see the signature is not added. So it could be that I construct my reply. And then if I want to include the signature, I can go up to the signature menu and you'll see I now have both of these signatures listed. So in this case, if I'm replying with my personal signature, I just click on that one and it adds that signature or I can swap it to my Andy Todd one and you'll see it puts in the um, company one. If we need to make any changes to our signature, we just go back up to signatures and then signatures from this menu here. And then you can make your changes in here. You can then maybe remove signature by default for new messages and we can save. And what you can also do from in here is you can select a specific signature to either rename as we did earlier or to delete. So if I want to delete this Andy Todd personal, I just choose delete. 
but just be mindful it doesn't say are you sure you want to delete it just deletes it then I can save and then you'll see when I return to the signature menu I only have the one signature listed here so if you want to construct a signature that's how you can do it if you need to make any changes just remember to go into the signatures menu and you can make your changes from there